So today we're gonna talk about how do I stay warm in the winter and my cooling system for the summer, my toilet and all the small little things that make all the difference. So welcome to this last video about my home. Vanilda. So today is the last video and the fourth about Vanilda. How do I leave here all my setup, everything inside? The first one was about my electrical system, the second about my water system, the third about my bedroom, kitchen and living room and today is about how do I stay warm, my cooling system for the summer, my toilet and about little things that make life better and make all the difference. So it's gonna be another great day. Welcome to my beautiful home, Vanilda. Well, about staying warm, there's a very, very, very simple solution. This is a van, this moves, I just go south. And that's why I'm in mountain now as well. So it's always the best solution to stay warm in, when living in a van is to get away from the winter. Uh, and I think that's a little bit the point of it. But still, if I want to go to see some place where it's cold, because some places are more beautiful in the winter, um, there are a few ways of stay warm inside the van. Better she's built, warmer you'll be. Insulation everywhere, I have it. That's very important, not just for the winter, but for the summer as well. Everything that is metal gonna gonna be very, very cold. The windows, all the cold gonna pass through. So I have these thermic curtains for the windows um, and I have an electrical heater. The van is very small so it's gonna get warm really fast but the problem with the heater is the consumption. The heater can take all the electricity I have in a couple of hours but on the other side the van is very small, so in a few minutes it's going to be warm. What I do is that I have this clock for my electrical plug and I put my heater there and I, I tell them to, to work, let's say, 10 minutes every hour or something like that. It depends how cold it is. And the one I have, that's very important as a safety. Well, I have the electrical safety on my electrical system. If it gets too warm, we'll shut everything down. And then the heater itself has a, saf a safety as well in the button. But still, I don't use it that much because when it's, when it's getting really cold, I'll go a little bit south. But I slept here with minus 10 and, um, and that was the way I did it and it was okay. Around 10 degrees I don't need heater because the van will keep inside um, around 20 degrees. Maybe in the morning will be 17, 18, a little bit cold but okay. Less than 10 degrees. I start to use my heater a little bit and uh, less than minus 10 I think that's too much but then next time I'll do some changements that I have on my mind I'm gonna change my heater system and I want one that works with wood and I know already how I'm gonna build it for the summer, I have 
two fans, never needed to use both at the same time, even in days with more than 40 degrees. Uh, one is enough. I can move it and put it where I want. If it's really warm, I just put it under my body and it's okay. Then I also have three openings to the outside. Two of them with the fan. One on the roof there and one on the back door. They, they both work with a 12 volts plug and the consumption is very, very low. Then I have another happening behind the refrigerator that is very important for the summer, especially when I'm not here and the van is closed and gets really warm inside. So without that, the refrigerator will stop, will eat too much and stop. With that opening is enough. If it's really, really warm, even if I'm not here, I'll let the fan on the roof uh, working because the consumption is very low. The air is always changing, so um, we'll get warm, but not that much. Then my toilet. My toilet, I have a portable toilet that works fine. Now it's under the bed, I just take it out and use it. Um, it's very important to have a very good uh, treatment, so there's no smell. The toilet has a 3 liters uh, clean water tank and a 5 liters uh, grey waters that I need to change um, when it's full, of course. But the best thing is try to adapt and then you try to see ahead if I'm going to some place where it's, there's a nice toilet I use it restaurants um, malls commercial centers that they have the best and cleanest toilets and then even museums like the other day in Italy that I, w I went to a, to a toilet in a castle You need to control that and that's important depending where I am I even I'm even careful with the food I eat so I don't have any problem and I don't need to go to the toilet in a, some kind of emergency and that's pretty much all the time the only time I use my toilet toilet is for emergencies and then all the small little things that are very important the most important one to me is that small thing that I have to eat water and make coffee that's maybe the most important one another small thing but very important and change everything is my wine and gin glasses it also changes everything then of course in my case we're not all the same I built as I told you on yesterday's vlog, I built Vanilda to live in warm places in the summer all the time. So that's why I have my water tank on the roof. I cannot go to a place where it's minus 10. Well, I've been before, but then the water freezes inside and I'll have no water most of the time. And then I cannot shower or stuff like that. Well, I can go for a few days and... Um, and um, go to a truck stop for shower or something like that and I've done it um, but not for staying for a long time if I go to a very cold place in the middle of the nature there are other solutions I'll need to adapt myself to that but the best solution to stay warm at least for me and the way I see things because I also love the summer is to go south and that's the point of living in a van, is that I can move and, and stay all the time where I feel well. And I always feel better by the sea with sun. And so this was um, the last video about Vanilda in this series of four. The last three, if you missed them, the link is below. About this one, if you like it, don't forget to put your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and see you tomorrow. Take care.